All right, guys, so as I'm sure everybody knows, Ramadan is less than a week away, and inshallah, the preparations are well underway to make the most of Ramadan. The highlight of Ramadan are the last 10 days, yeah, and that's where Laylatul Qadr is, the night of power in which worshipping on one night is like worshipping for 83 years and 4 months. What I try to do, I'm sure a lot of you guys do, is try to give charity on every single day on the last 10 days, be it a pound or something. So if it's a pound, then it's like you've been giving that for 83 years and 4 months. There's a really brilliant app. Yeah, not an app, like a website. And what this website does is you can go and you can register now. You'll be able to allot a certain amount to multiple charities ever since i found out about it i use it i mean why wouldn't you why i mean to go on each individual charity that you want to donate it's just long so just selecting them all and selecting an amount it just makes it easy link in the description check it out let's jump into the video that's a gen yeah <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. So I saw this trailer of a movie that's premiering on Amazon Prime. Not premiering, I think it's already out. So I saw it on my newsfeed. I didn't think much of it until I found out that it's a movie starring Doctor Strange aka Sherlock aka Benedict Cumberbatch. Again, I was a bit dubious. It's to do with Guantanamo Bay and let's face it, they're not gonna give the, the reality. It's gonna have some sort of spin on it. It's Hollywood. But apparently when I saw Muazzam Beg, who was actually a ex-detainee of Guantanamo Bay and I mean from the tweets that I saw it seemed like he's okay with it. I thought, you know what? Let me look at the trailer. But then I was like, yo, why don't I watch the trailer with you lot? Yeah, because I saw, let me show you guys, I saw, I saw this, yeah, and it's a headline that says Benedict Cumberbatch calls on Joe Biden to close unnecessary and ineffectual Guantanamo Bay detention camp. He says following his role in the Guantanamo Bay detention center drama, The Mauritanian, Benedict Cumberbatch tells The Guardian he's more than hoping President Biden will close Guantanamo. Hoping? I'm going to plead with the guy, the 44-year-old Brett says. It is a huge spend. It's the most expensive prison on earth. And what are the results? Where are the prosecutions? That's just being really brutally economic about it. It just doesn't work. And I was like, you know what? Let's 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 see what this is about. Yeah, let's see what this is about and let's react to it together because it must be speaking some sense if it's got the guy to say this. If you stray outside the designated areas, you will be removed from the island. It's recommended that you wear a hijab when visiting your client. We've had incidents of inmates spitting at female lawyers. What? You want to? What did he say? It's recommended you wear a hijab when visiting your client. It's recommended you wear a hijab. Hijab when visiting your client. Why? We've had incidents of inmates spitting at female lawyers. We've had incidents of inmates spitting at female lawyers. Uh, okay. You want to represent the head recruiter for 9-11? Mohamedou Oldslahi, the Mauritanian held in Guantanamo. He okay, so so far it's not a good image. <laughs> it's uh, saying the stuff that I expected from a typical Hollywood movie. So I'm not impressed so far. Recruited the guys who flew your friend's plane into the South Tower. He put those men on my husband's plane. I'm gonna make him pay. In the event the detainee lunges for you, push back away from the table. We'll get in there as quick as we can. Wait, I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Who's, what's Benedict Cumberbatch thing? Sorry. <laughs> you flew your friend's plane into the south. Wait, wait, wait. Slahi, the Mauritanian held in Guantanamo. Okay, so he's in Guantanamo. He recruited the guys who flew your friend's plane. Who recruited? He recruited the guys who flew your friend's oh, plane into the South Tower. He put those men on my husband's plane? You put those men into my husband's plane. So what's his role in this? I'm gonna make him pay. In the event the detainee... Ah, the bus is going past now. That's great, isn't it? Sorry, I need to put on subtitles. Ah, so it does have subtitles. Alright, cool. I'm gonna make him pay. In the event the detainee lunges okay. for you, push back away from the table. We'll get in there as quick as we can. How's he gonna lunge? 
<laughs> Did you see that? Nice shot there. That's very Hollywood. So they painted him out to be a really negative character. 9-11, that's obviously going to evoke emotion. Um, Guantanamo, blah, blah, blah. I'm Nancy Hollander. This is my associate. Did you say this is based on a true story? I really need to pay attention. This is a true story. Okay. It's normally says it's based on a this true story. This is my associate. He wish to represent you. We are seeking the death penalty. But if we miss something, this guy goes home. Let's get to it. Call this number. Speak to my mother. Okay, so Benedict Cumberbatch is trying to obviously get him the death penalty, yeah? And this guy is saying, speak to my mother. <sighs> God's sake. All right, all right. Let's give it a chance. Tell her, um, something nice. The U.S. government is holding <sighs> upwards of 700 prisoners in Guantanamo. Not presidents, prisoners, uh, subtitles. When did we start locking people up without a trial in this country? That's a lot of case files. Since when did we lock up people without a trial in this country? Is she... Is she for... Okay, let's just... Let's not even unpack that. <laughs> Prosecution won't show us the evidence they have against you. It's all redacted. You got a problem? Take it up with the government. It's all redacted. Oh, flipping heck. Let me... Just give me... Give me a sec, guys. Redacted meaning. Redacted. Oh, just come up with the oh, the dictionary thing. Ah, to edit. It's all been edited. A confidential memo which has redacted pages. So blot them out, in other words. Yeah, censor or obscure. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's, it's why I don't do reaction videos. All my time here, I've been told you are guilty. Not for something that I have done, but because of suspicions and associations. I am innocent. He has been interrogated. He has been held against his will for six years without a single charge being laid against him. Oh, 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 okay. Six years, not a single charge against him. I want to know why she's come forward to defend him. Doesn't it bother you at all working for someone like this? I'm not just defending him. I'm defending the rule of law. You got to say what I've seen. Where I'm from, in Mauritania, we know not to trust the police. But never did I believe that the United States... Yeah, the corrupt cops! America would use fear and terror to control me. A couple of sleepless nights, that's all. Mm. Interrogation. I've never been part of a conspiracy, but I'm starting to think this is what it must feel like to be on the outside of it. You're ever thinking this, either wear the jersey or get off the field. Oh. You need to tell me what happened to your eye. Okay, so he's now realizing that things are not as they seem. So he's now going out. So he's being um, snowed. Who's that guy? Snowden. And even Julian Assange. Yeah, that guy is still in prison for exposing the government. Yeah, so freedom of speech. Is it freedom of speech, guys? Yeah, even Obama. He says candid, very candidly. But we tortured some folks. You need to tell me what happened to you. I can't defend you. Do you understand that? Okay, okay. You asked me to that set makes sense. fire to this place, but I'm still sitting. Maybe he's guilty. Maybe he is. I don't know if that be again. You asked me to set fire to this place, but I'm still sitting. I'm still sitting here. Maybe he's guilty. Maybe he is. Like we're doing our job. I'm not welcome home. That's not a part of my job. If I'm wrong, when it comes to my reckoning, I'm the one that I have to answer for it. What makes you think you're any better than the rest of us? I don't think I'm better than anybody else. That is the point. For eight years, I have been dreaming of being in a court. I'm not better than you. That's the point. Ah. So he's speaking on their level sort of thing. So he, so it makes him more effective when giving them advice. All right. Now that I'm here, I'm scared to death. You know, I think I figured out. Oh, what acting. Oh, look at that, guys. That just... It's ridiculous. Absolutely unnecessary. Courtroom. Now that I'm here, I'm scared to death. You know, I think I've Ooh, really good act. figured out why they built Guantanamo down there. My client, he's not a suspect. He's a witness. Mr. Slahi, would you please raise your right hand and repeat after me? The Mauritanian. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Very interesting. Definitely um, not your typical Hollywood propaganda, I guess I would say. And a breath of fresh air, I guess. And really nice to see that a movie's had an impact on an actor 
like it's had on Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, obviously this movie will not be promoted, but um, yeah, amazing. Amazing, refreshing to hear. It's a dirty secret that doesn't really like to get brought up very much. And it just exposes uh, America's unjust nature, I guess, as Julian Assange does as Edward Snowden. That's his name, Edward Snowden. He's got a movie on him as well. So yeah, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Very interesting, very interesting. And uh, yeah, let's leave it there. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.